<laughs> um, Kayla Duncan here and Taylor. Taylor Blossom. <laughs> this is kind of our little recap of uh, first national show, first time meeting each other. Yes. Yes. So we just want to go over just a couple things, um, talk about the weekend for you, some favorites, some highs, some lows um, of prep. So I'm just going to interview Taylor. Um, tell us about your weekend. Absolutely amazing, amazing time and an amazing experience in every single way when it comes to uh, being on a huge national stage, getting to meet her for the first time, and getting that one on one time and actually her getting the opportunity to see me in person is a completely different feel from kind of guessing over the phone and over the I internet. Totally agree. <laughs> and so that's, that was amazing. I love that part. And also just being with the big dogs on stage is something that I am super, super happy about at 18 years old and getting to really just experience that fully and really look up to all them yeah. and just get a really good perspective for the future and how I should really um, develop the mindset, the right mindset. To so like long-term mindset, right? Yes, yes. To not be disappointed in any kind of placing because this is something that is for a long time. Right. <laughs> for, I, for I want for the both of us. And so you can't just jump into it and that's just something that I really noticed this weekend. Yeah. And that placings don't matter. So that was awesome. But otherwise it was just phenomenal. I Everything totally that happened that. ran so smoothly. So. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to like put into words. <laughs> Um, we've kind of non-stop talked ever since we got in the car with each other. I picked her up from the airport about just how mm. awesome it is that we're like able to hug. We're like, yes. oh my gosh, yes. you're real. <laughs> it's so in cool. the flesh. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Um, that's great. So, talking about favorite things, I just lost my, um, my little notes, keeping notes with them. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think. I would say one of the things that you just said that kind of jogged my memory was being up there with the big dogs and seeing like, I've seen so many athletes be kind of discouraged or um, taken back at maybe how long their success might take or how far away they are from their pro card and all this stuff that totally doesn't matter that I saw Taylor look at those people and be like, I can be that. <laughs> like, yeah. I can be that, I can compete against them, I've got yes. potential. Um, and I want you guys to know that that is the most important thing is to believe in yourself is that there's nothing, I didn't give that to you. I mean, I believe in you more than anything, yeah. um, but that's I something that you've you. always brought to the table. I mean, yes. ever since that we met, what, coming up on two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. Yes, which is awesome. Yes. Um, so what would you say, talking about your placing, um, just to let you guys know, so t we went into this, um, Taylor qualified about four months ago, was it April? What's your show? March. Uh, March 28th, March, and yes. so beginning of April. Basically. Yeah. Um, qualified for this show which we set out to do that was the reason why we chose the show that we did was because it was a national qualifier um, and we wanted her to get the exposure that, um, that she can get at this level um, but she was the only one in her teen category so thankfully she did get to compete in the collegiate category um, which is like from 18 to 25, 25. I believe. yes mm -hmm. versus the teen stops um, right That'd after be. your teenager yep. so she, yeah, she was the only one. Yeah. Um, but what's really cool is that because she was the only one, that means she got first place. Yeah. <laughs> so Trophy girls behind us. Yeah, <laughs> yes, she did. That was really awesome. Yep. The oh, we'll have to show them off, right? Uh, <laughs> so this one is for um, the team figure overall. <laughs> and this is the collegiate. <laughs> so I got two overalls. Yeah, which that's is awesome. awesome. We're put on this show, trophy self. <laughs> how, how do you think that made you feel initially? Because I know like. Last week is when you looked up the um, yes. the roster to see how many people were going to be in your class. And yes. what were your initial thoughts? Honestly, I mean, how isn't it not kind of like well, bummer? I'm the only sure. one. <laughs> uh, like, who wouldn't be like, okay, well, it's not going to win. How how do I know if I really am like going against someone? How am I knowing that I'm fully getting judged? And just kind of missing that up. Who I can't go really against anyone else. But that's I realize that's not the way to think. Is that if you I put everything into this prep, um, meaning I never cut myself short, I got through such mental hardships by myself and with you, well not mental hardships, but with, with you by my side and leading me and guiding me, uh, I got through all of that and it was something that's super, super satisfying getting through and that's the most important thing is honestly getting through a very, very hard Prep. Prep isn't easy. And going through that and accomplishing what we had from the last package to this one 
again and uh, bringing it a totally different package, much fuller. We brought up certain areas. Yes. That is the most important thing to look at. Not, I have an automatic win, I can't go against anyone else because I can't, no one can help that. <laughs> right, right. You never know who's going to show up to a show. Yeah. Which leads me act in, into my next conversation topic was highs. What are your highs from prep? What do you think the most exciting part of prep? Mm -hmm. What drives you? Like, what makes mm -hmm. you want to do the next prep? <laughs> yeah, so seeing changes almost all the time is really, really cool and just really pushing yourself. I mean, yeah, training, the reason I love doing this whole sport is training. You push yourself, like in the gym. I absolutely love training. You push yourself all the time. But prep is completely different. Like, you have days where you it's mentally, physically, emotionally exhausting, and you're tired, and you push past that almost, I mean, you have more than one of those days. That's true. <laughs> you can have like a whole couple weeks like that. And when you push through that, it's amazing. And sometimes like you cry because that, that feels great. It's great to get through that. So that's a really good thing, seeing those changes every single day. like. One week you're like, ah, I'm not looking so good, but then a couple weeks later, you're like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm starting to see some clips. <laughs> or new weight lows, or like, just those kinds of things are really, really cool to see. That's awesome. And improve on. Yeah. yeah. What would you say the lows are through prep? Like, the hardest part of prep? The hardest part. Um, the hardest part, it's definitely different for everyone, I would say, but for me, it was probably some of the workouts. Like, I would work all, of course, and this is different for everyone, like working all day or and just not having any energy. Not skipping anything, mm -hmm. right. And I remember just like, sometimes I'd just cry and I'd be like, I don't want to go work out, like I have nothing left. <laughs> and then uh, just I'd be like, come on, like, yeah, you do. <laughs> He's like, I know you have stuff left. And that's right. just like, wow, someone believes in me. <laughs> yeah. And so that right there, like some of those hard days are, are something that you really learn how to go past. Right. And so, Workouts are kind of hard when you have no, no energy at all. I can agree with that. <laughs> um, hunger, you, you get used to that, but that's a hard thing for some people. But just really being exhausted is the hardest part. Right. And training with that uttermost intensity that you still have to have. Right. To be the best and that you can be. So, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. So the next one, I kind of want you to just um, explain our relationship. Like, mm -hmm. when you first got the email that mm -hmm. um, that you have a coach um, <laughs> what expectations do you think that you had yes and then um, maybe what was different if there was any honest letdowns like you maybe thought it was gonna be something that it ended up not being um, yeah, kind of yeah. share a little bit on that. honestly it was the most I know why God put this in our lives and had us like officially meet I know right and it's just it couldn't be more perfect because we are a lot alike <laughs> our communication uh, the way we do everything um, organization anything you name it is very very similar and the way we um, honestly do a lot of things are yeah, very from the agree. same point of view so I would say uh, I was definitely surprised by that but a lot of people think that like online coaches or trainers or anyone like that uh, just basically tell you what to do mm -hmm. and like how to do it and the thing is, yeah, they, they do that. They tell you what to do. They give you a set thing, but it's completely different. They're not holding your hand. They're not doing anything. Granted, you are the best coach like ever, and I'm like, be by my side forever. But you give such amazing guidance, but the thing is, you're not, they're always holding your hand. Right, I'm not measuring your food. Mm -hmm. I'm not tapping you on the shoulder and telling you when to get up and yes. when to go to the gym and yes. to do your cardio. Mm -hmm. and. Yeah, you're bringing that, for and, sure. And I know, the cool thing is though, I know you expect so much of me and you hold very high standards on me and I always want to meet those. And so that's what drives me a lot too, is that I know that you would be disappointed in me if I didn't do something. Right. You'd just be like, hey, I know you can do better. Yeah, absolutely. And so that's one thing that drives me, <laughs> is I want to be the best I can be yeah. for me and you. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you can pick a favorite, <laughs> what's your uh, favorite part of our relationship, do you think? Our relationship? Uh, being probably so alike, <laughs> too. Uh, honestly, getting these opportunities the last couple of days is amazing. Right. And yeah, just being how alike we are. And I love that, I mean, we're both women. Yeah. It's probably one of my favorite parts, but just like bonding the way we do, like when you help me like on Skype and stuff. And yeah, it's just the like, posing. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. I, I hope that we can find that first video. Yes. <laughs> of yes. Posing. And it's just like the communication is so great. Like I know we're states away 
but you just time feel zones like, even. Yeah, you just feel like a sister to me. It's amazing. Like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> you feel like a sister to me. That's and, great. Uh, we bond so well. We're so alike. And I just see you being in my future for a long, long time. That's awesome. I'm I excited agree. for the that's, future. That's great. I hope the same. So we'll keep up these conversations and uh, yeah. maybe share a little bit more of our thoughts with you guys too as we kind of move along. And uh, But till then, this is us from the Pittsburgh airport. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>